Hey guys, what's up? It's How to Roblox, and today I'm going to show you how to make a trigger event with just a part. So let's get started. First off, click right here on the part. Uh, you can customize it however you like. Size it like that. Make sure, so if you want to, you can put in the transparency to 1, but I'm just going to do it for 0 just for the tutorial. But put in Cancolite false and anchor to true. Now inside a workspace, put in a folder. Call it trigger. Put inside our part that we created. And for this tutorial, I'm going to make a GUI trigger. So we click right here on the plus, add a screen GUI, call it text GUI. And then inside that, Put in a text label and customize it however you like. Like that. Put in background transparency to 1. Go down until you find text. Click text skill. And choose any font you like. I'm just going to choose uh, for this sake of tutorial. The permanent marker. You can change the color if you like. I'm going to put it white. Okay. Now inside our replicated storage, I've already made a string value right here, and it's called status. Do that. Now go inside your text label and add a script. Inside of script, we're going to do the text label, so local text label equals script.parent. And then under that, do we're gonna do the status, so local status equals script of oh sorry game the replicated storage wait for a uh, find for child status. And now we're gonna do a while wait do loop. We're gonna do uh text label dot text equals to status dot value okay close that off go to status and type in the value whatever you like I'm just going to put in hello click play and as you can see our text has been shown so click stop, and we're going to do one more thing to make this actually work. But first, go to your part, add a script. And in this inside the script, we're going to do a script.parent.touch connect function. Hit. And then we're going to do a if hit and hit a parent. Find first child, humanoid. Then we're gonna destroy this part. So script dot parent dot dis uh, destroy like that. Close that off. Go to your server script service and add in a script. Inside of the script, we're gonna do the status. So local status equals game dot replicated storage my first child status and then we're gonna do this so do status dot value equals to parentheses if that's not how you uh, say it then I'm just gonna show you at the video what is actually pronounced so just type in subscribe or whatever you like And then to actually do the trigger, we're going to do repeat, wait, until game.workspace.trigger, point plus child, pa, equals equals to nil. Then we're going to do the status. 
dump value equals to, let's say, like 2. There we go. Close it off. Hit play. And right here, as you can see, it says subscribe. So if you go over here, now the pot disappeared and it says like 2. So that's how you make a trigger event. You can also make multiple triggers. So like I'm going to uh, select the pot, hold uh, control and D to duplicate it. And I move it like that and make three. So name this pot one, name this pot two, and name this one pot three. So go back in our script. We're going to duplicate this repeat until, and then instead of pot, I'm going to type in pot two. And now duplicate the status again. You can also say everything you like. For that sake, I'm going to type in common two, or as well. Now duplicate this once again for the third part. You can make multiple parts if you like. I'm just going to do three. And then, like, goodbye. There we go. Close that off and hit play. And right now, it says subscribe. Like two. Comment as well. And for the last one, goodbye. So that's how you make a trigger event. If you like it, drop a like, subscribe, and comment below if you liked it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.